What's going on guys? Alright, so I am going to show you how to install Raspberry onto the Pi. Um, there's really two simple ways of doing this. Um, the first way I originally started, uh, this, let's take it back, this is my second time installing the OS onto the Pi. But the original way I did it was I installed, I used the Noobs, it uh, has the recovery and the uh, OS all in one package. You pretty much you download it, you unzip it, you throw it into a, a folder you create, and you throw the whole folder onto the SD card. And after you get done, um, put all the files on the SD card from your PC, you put it into the Pi and you boot off the SD card. And it pretty much, it does the whole install by itself. Uh, really simple. Um, just follow the steps to take you along the way and you'll be up and going within 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a different install. Um, I've already actually downloaded and installed onto the Pi already but I'm going to show you how to configure onto the SD card and just pop it into the Pi and just boot from there. So first off you'll need to download the Raspberry Pi. So it comes in a zip file here and you also need etcher uh, you'll need both of these to get set up there's a link here to download it uh, there's several op uh, operating systems you can use to download it yeah, open, here you go I'm not sure why I opened their page or tab so you can download for Windows, Mac, or Linux. So in my case, I'm using a Windows machine. Gonna be downloading for Windows. I've already downloaded already. But if you're using Windows, you will use the Windows. If you use a Mac, you use a Mac. So you think you'll need to download that. The next you need to download the Raspberry operating system. Here's the link or here's the address above, but I will post the address in the comments so it make it a one click make it simple so this is what I was talking about the noobs this is what I originally did I downloaded the off uh, yeah the offline network install so pretty much it downloads everything uh, unlike the light you'll need a, a network connection and when, once you do the install on the Pi because it downloads just uh, pretty much just the installer so this is what I originally did at first I did the noobs um, I decided to pretty much format the SD card and and download the Raspberry operating system as the image. So I did this one right here. How much everything with it? Um, you could do this one if you wanted to. It's a little lighter, not much, you know, 1.1 gigs versus 1.9, almost 2 gigs. So, I went ahead and downloaded this one. The Raspberry Buster with desktop and recommended software. Uh, just download the zip file. If you have a torrent application, you can download the torrent. But there's a zip file. Once you get all that downloaded, you have your etcher. You'll need to install etcher on your computer, which is pretty simple to do. Just do an install on that. You won't have to mess with that yet. So, once you get done installing etcher, you'll need an SD card. You need an SD card reader. Uh, the Pi takes a micro SD card, which is the little bitty one. Uh, I recommend doing at least a 32 gig. You can probably go a little smaller since we're not going to be doing a whole bunch, a whole bunch with these. It's going to be, a, you know, pretty much a dash uh, configuration. You'll need a little couple applications on it. Obviously, Tinder Studio, uh, uh, Meta Viewer, and I'm going to put a uh, Team Viewer on as well, so I can do remote tuning. So uh, I recommend doing at least a 32. If you get a 64, I think 64 would probably be an overkill, but uh, 32 is probably the sweet spot for this setup uh, that's why I went with and get the fastest card you can get for it uh, I did the uh, SanDisk 
Uh, it's Extreme Ultra, I think what it is. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it reads 100 megabytes per second and, and writes at 90 megs per, 90 megs per second. Megabytes per second, sorry. And uh, it does everything. It, it's, it'd be plenty of speed for it. Should get good boot up times and everything on it. So, woke up at you here. For those on the right screen here. All right, so here's the application. Uh, you can go ahead and stick your micro SD card into your card reader. So we're going to select our image here. Uh, here's the image we're going to be using. Hit open. Now we're going to select our target. And you can see I got my other hard drives here as well. So we're going to use this one right here. It's an eight. It's an eight gigabyte uh, SD card. I'm just doing this as an example of card I have just laying around. So we're going to select that one. We hit continue. Now we're ready to flash. Once you hit flash, it does it does the whole install on the micro SD card. And once it's done, you're ready to pull it out and put it into the Pi. Uh, but we're doing it again so far it's going you can see the write is tremendously slow on this SD card that's why I recommend going a fast uh, write one um, the card I have in the pa uh, Pi now I was doing close to 20 megabytes per second um, pretty much the cap of the SD or the USB device here I got so this probably will take a little while to do So to install a Tuner Studio onto your Pi, open up your web browser here. And we'll type in Tuner Studio. It's already down here. It's already have it installed. Just go to the first link here, EFI Antelix Tuner Studio. We're just going to scroll down, go down to downloads. Go all the way down, the one for Linux. Just hit download. I uh, once you get it downloaded, you can also download the Metalog Viewer. All right, so once you got it downloaded, go to your file manager here, and the file is going to be in your downloads folder. So what I did on mine is I just selected the file, right click, and hit cut then go back to your pi directory here and just paste it here you can see I have it right here once you got that done you can open the folder the file up the open the folder up and scroll down so the application the way that load the application is this file right here, tunerstudio.sh. You can double click on it, then hit execute. So it'll load, it'll load the program up. 
and that's really it for that um, mine's already kind of already configured already so and so I already have my steps gonna go automatically into uh, dash mode you have to have tuner studio configured with your micro squirt everything configured first before that can work I am not sure it has to be registered or not mine is a registered version but I know for sure you have to have it uh, synced up with your tuner or your with your micro squirt before you can select that option for some reason mine select uh, mine's unchecked and it still works so not sure what's up with that but that's it guys um, I mean once you get everything configured you might have to go into your your tools here make sure everything, all your stuff's calibrated correctly so far I think mine came out pretty good I had to do the uh, the uh, the air in, or the air temps and the coolant temp sensor I had to calibrate that which is very simple to do but other than that guys that's how you install tuner studio onto the raspberry pi and I'm fixing to show you how to auto start it when right, the guys, pi so starts. I thought I recorded the process of how to auto start tuner studio but after doing some editing and all, apparently I did it. So, I'm just going to show you how I did it. Um, like I said, I installed this twice on here. Two different ways. It's the same version of a Raspberry, but for some reason, I had to do it a little bit different on this version. Oh, this install, I should say. Uh, sounds kind of weird, but this is how I did it, and it works. So, open up the terminal here. And on the command line here, type in sudo nano auto start. Then hit enter. So it pops up, you can see my command line here, Tudor Studio, uh, LX Panel, and the rest of the stuff that boots up. Uh, you can modify this however you want, but I believe all my auto start, well, all, this, all this was empty. I just pretty much took a, uh, uh, just went online, you know, Google search, uh, auto start. I mean, I've found like four different ways to do auto start and this is the only way it worked for me. Uh, it may work for you, it may not. So I'm going to list down in the description the other ways to do it if this this way don't work for you. Uh, but I had to type all this in. I believe. If, 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 if all this wasn't typed in, you'll at least have the LX panel all the way down. It was already here and just had the add my script here. Uh, keep in mind where you put your your tuner studio folder it's where you need to have it directed to so say example you have your tuner studio under downloads you'll have for example you'll have at slash home slash pi slash downloads then tuner studio ms slash tuner studio dot sh so for my for my setup here, I move my tuner studio file into the Pi directory file. So that's why I don't have the download uh, in here because I move this file manually. So if this is not all typed in, type it all in as so. And once you get done, all right, to save the file, you need to hit Control O on your keyboard. You know, see see down here on the bottom it says. Uh, file name to write auto start you can just type in yes and hit enter and you're done you can go ahead and X out terminal and go ahead and reboot and see if it works if it doesn't work um, just go down in the description below I'll have some different command lines to do uh, I tried those command lines first which says the LX session didn't exist or something like that the, the directory didn't exist which I thought was odd but I did it this way and it worked just fine. So this is actually this is a lot easier to do versus the other way. 
So like I say, once you get done, you save it. I'm not going to save it because mine's already been saved. Close it out. And just reboot it and see if it starts up. If it does, great. So you can keep going forward. But guys, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Uh, next video is going to be actually the install. You can see it's already installed now, but it's going to be the install. Uh, my modifications I've done to make it work into the stock cluster here. But guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you like the new improvement of the Fox. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later.